Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana and today guys, we are playing some more Subnautica. So today, we are back on the Cyclops. Um, I have gone ahead and made some changes to the Cyclops itself. Uh, we're calling this thing the Leviathan Toast now, which I think is a fantastic name. Um, and it is, as you can see now, red and black. I think it looks really cool. These are um, my favorite color suggestions that we got, and I really loved the Leviathan Toast name, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and call this thing. Um, so, a couple of things on our agenda today. One, we need a drill arm for the prawn suit, so we're gonna have to go explore some areas we haven't been to yet, um, which is a little bit terrifying. So until we get the drill arm for the prawn suit, um, I've gone ahead and loaded up the sea moth, um, our seaweed toast, into the deck on the Cyclops. So we have um, we have a little bit more mobility. We're a little bit faster with it. I do have a propulsion cannon with me if we're going to be able to go somewhere that I need to pick up resources from a distance. Um, and generally, we're just going to try to not die while we go around places today. Uh, now, a couple of other things. I did go ahead and make polyaniline and the aerogels that we'll need for a couple more of the items that we wanted to build here. So let's go ahead and go in here. Now, I really wanted the fire suppression system just in case uh, we get hit by a leviathan or something, that would be great. And then similarly, I want this shield generator also in case we get hit by a leviathan and uh, we need to, you know, not die, would be good. Okay, so let's go ahead and equip these two items. I love it. I love it so much. All right, so we're a little bit stronger here. We've got a few more upgrades. Um, less likely to catch on fire, which is fantastic. Uh, we have our little sea moth friend, which is great. And it is getting a little bit dark, which is maybe not so great, but that's all right. We'll still be able to go places. Um, all right, so. Essentially, I don't know exactly where um, some of these drill arm fragments are, but I have some ideas about places they might be, which is essentially large wrecks um, in the outer areas that we haven't really explored. So that would be like the Grand Reef, um, which we only barely caught a glimpse of, uh, the Sea Treaders Path, and then um, there are underwater islands that I've kind of seen from a distance, but I don't think we've actually gone into that biome, so that might be interesting as well. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and fire up the Cyclops, head over, and I will bring you guys back in a little bit once we're a little bit closer to one of those biomes, and uh, we can maybe see a little better because it's a little bit dark at the moment. So I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes here. All right, guys, so it looks like we may have found a new biome. It looks like... It looks like we have some stuff here that is definitely um, underwater island stuff. Like these are like sort of floating structures here. Let's go ahead and like explore this area a little bit. We're kind of over near where uh, that one uh, entrance to the underground area is, but um, not at the moment. There's a lot of bone sharks in this area, which I don't love. Pretty happy we have our like suppression system here for things. All right, let's go a little deeper and see what we can see. I do want to explore these islands just a little bit more because if there is a wreck out here, um, hopefully it'll have something good in it. Uh, there's a lot of bone sharks. There's a lot of bone sharks, and that is a wreck for sure, guys. All right, so we're going to have to head down here and check this out. Um, let's, like, watch and make sure we're not going to hit anything on our keel here. Oh man, this is a little nerve-wracking. <laughs> a little scary, but there's definitely stuff that looks like that could be some sort of fragment for uh, a prawn suit arm. Oh yeah, those bone sharks are going to be a big pain, but uh, this is definitely, it's definitely a big wreck. I don't see anything like too terribly horrifying in this area. I hear a reef back, so we might be okay if there's reef backs. That means there probably aren't other leviathans in the area. All right, let's go ahead and just uh, shut this down for a moment. Engine powering down. Yeah, that way at least they'll be less likely to uh, to come after us. And then I do want to head down there and see what we can find. Um, 
I'm a little nervous about taking the moth out there because those those bone sharks are definitely awful and they will try to eat you. Uh, let's actually go ahead and eat something ourselves. Okay. Huh. This makes me a little nervous, but if we go fast and we watch ourselves, maybe we won't get eaten by a bone shark. Stay over there, buddy. Yeah, stay over there. Whatever this is, I want it. Oh, yes. Drill arm fragment. Perfect. Okay. Oop. He tried to push me. That's all right. Okay. Uh, is this another one? Yes, it is. I like it. Okay, let's not get eaten by this guy. Perfect. Yes. All right, so we're going to have to make that. Uh, let's go ahead and gather some stuff. Yay, food block. Love that. Oh, I love taking shale. Any lithium I can get is happy. What are these? Interesting. Um, I don't need another drill arm fragment yet. Alright, let's see if we can get into the wreck without making those guys angry. Oh, here we go. Nice. Alright, so there's a propulsion cannon arm. Um, a little bit of other stuff. Let's see if we can open this. There we go. Cool. Okay. More stuff. I love stuff. Um, looks like we've already learned, like, almost all of this, which is actually great. Uh, I do have a picture thing learned as well, so we don't need that. Um, propulsion can of fragment, we already have that. Nice. Let's just open everything. You can do it. There we go. All right. Sweet. Okay. So, still still nothing too bad here. All right. We've got a sealed door. So, let's go ahead and equip uh, the laser cutter. Nope. There we go. We are going to have to go get some air, though, which I do want to get from the Cyclops. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see if we can open this and then go get some air before we come back and keep exploring. I'm super excited though. The drill arm fragment's gonna be really useful. Um, I definitely think we should make that before we go back to, oh man, I messed up my light. I hate the map thing, there we go. Super hard to see with the little map thing on there. All right, and beautiful. Let's just like scoot right up here and get on before they get me. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Nice. Okay, so what does it take to make the drill arm fragment? That's what I'm super curious about before we go back in. Um, titanium, lithium, and diamond. Perfect. I think we have all of that back at base. Once we can make the drill arm fragment, guys, I think I feel pretty safe going back to the underground river um, with, uh, specifically with the prawn suit just to do a little bit more like mining of stuff because I think there's some really valuable resources down there that we're going to want to get. Um, but it's a little bit difficult to be down there when, uh, there's like that ghost leviathan and all of that other stuff that wants to come in and ruin our day. So, uh, we're gonna have to be a little careful about going down there. And the drill arm fragment will help with that a lot, I think. Plus it'll help with mining some of those big nodes of resources, which I'm also very interested in. Dang, there's like a lot going on here. Prawn suit. Propulsion, prawn suit, prawn suit. Okay, so we've already learned the prawn suit. Ooh, data. ERAWN safety instructions, appendix A14. Don't climb on or get off equipment while it's moving. All right, then. That was very valuable data. Should not try to get on the prawn suit while it's moving. Makes sense. Not super helpful because uh, if a leviathan's shaking it around, I will try to get out and run away. What's that? Nice med kit. Very appropriate for this area, not gonna lie. Um, not seeing too much else here that we really need. I think we've learned a lot of the uh, blueprints and things that we actually need to get around. Aha. Oh, I wonder, can I move this? Ha. Huh. That's actually beautiful. Okay. Um, I know I can fit through here. There we go. 
Nice. That's actually super cool. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Stasis Rifle Fragment. I think I've already learned this, but might as well get a little titanium while we're out here. Yep, Propulsion Cannon. Nice. Oh, man, this is a huge wreck. It's just, like, super complicated. Um, This is a closed vent. That goes nowhere. Beautiful. As does that. Okay. Eh. All right. And this. Open. Does this just go outside? Yes, it does. All right. Nice and, uh, nice and scary. I hate bone sharks. I hate bone sharks so much. All right, so let's actually do the, the quick dive here. There we go. I'm going to make him angry, but I'm okay with that. I'll just, like, scooch up here real quick. Nice. Okay, so I'm actually super excited about all of that. That's not too bad in terms of, like, what we've gotten so far from this. And, uh, yeah, these bone shark dudes aren't that bad, so... I think we found everything we need to find, really, to uh, continue on and go a little bit deeper. Very nice. Oh, we make them all angry. I love it so much. All right, so I'm kind of debating, guys. Um, I think I might go make the drill arm fragment and then bring you guys back, um, and we'll go back to the underground, uh, like, river area. Um, but I do think a sea moth is going to be a little bit more mobile and we are like right next to this area anyway. So I might just go, I might just go a little further over, go back down there, kind of check it out. Yeah, I think we've gotten most of the stuff in this area. There's not a ton here. Yeah, this is a nice creepy area. All right, let's go ahead and turn on camera. I do see a reef back up there, so we're fine. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're going to go sink down next to uh, that life pod over there. Again, we're going to go into that little river area. I do want to just do a little quick scouting mission before we try anything else. I think I'm just smacking into bone sharks, if I'm being perfectly honest here. Pretty sure that's all this is. Because it is very hard to navigate in some of these areas. These underwater islands are super creepy. Okay, can we... Inch our way down here? Yeah, I see, I see a blood vine. I think we're getting closer. Yes, we are. Perfect. Alright, so this is about where we should be in terms of getting over there. Nice. Okay. Perfect. This is where I want to be. We are very, very close to the entrance to that, like, underground massive cave system. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go check it out with the, the sea moth here, and we'll see what we can do. I'm just, like, I'm terrible at navigating. I'm just beating up our, our leviathan toast here. There we go. Let's sink down a little. Probably gonna make some stuff angry, but that's okay by me. This is it. All right go ahead and like spin this way pretty sure this is it yeah this has got to be it this looks so familiar okay man um I don't like to make these things angry but we also have like our whole reinforcement so we should be okay yep stuff's gonna get angry that crab squid's probably gonna get angry yep Go away, buddy. He'll leave me alone in a minute. Can I? Sweet. All right. We're just going to get down here far enough that I can kind of park the Cyclops without worrying about it getting hit by that crab squid um, or anything super big. And then we're going to take the sea, we the sea moth from there and uh, check out a little bit more. So this looks pretty close to where I want to be. Pretty close. Not exact, but uh, not bad. Alright, let's go ahead and power down. Nice. Alright, so uh, I'm nice and terrified here. Hopefully hopefully we don't die in this process. It's entirely possible. Um, you know, I should probably... I'm just going to ditch a few things here. 
uh, including that lithium I got, a little bit of food. Okay. I think we got it, guys. Um, so one thing I do want to point out is that we do have, um, oh, there. Sweet. Don't need anything with that. So we do have some um, interesting information on the alien data, which is, if I'm not mistaken, I think, or maybe it's under something else. Artifacts, scan data, terminal data. Okay. I'm trying to remember exactly where it was. I've got to like find it again, but there was like a, a data download we did on um, some of the more um, interesting like alien locations, and it would be really cool if we could find one of those uh, pretty soon here. I don't know that we'll be able to. There's definitely some more like alien structures on this planet that we're going to have to figure out where they are, and I think one of them had said they were in an underground biome, so we'll have to check that out at some point. All right, well, stop putting it off. I'm just nervous. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I'm just nervous because that's a lot of scary noises. All right. I don't like it. All right, so we have some crabs. They're fine. Got little biter dudes. They're fine. We'll avoid those guys as much as we can. I'm going to grab this. Uh, unless I can't, because it needs a drill arm, which is great. I just have... Those dudes are so angry. They keep hitting me. Alright, let's get away from them a little bit, shall we? Alright, we're a little bit more mobile in the Seamoth, so we can kind of scooch around a little bit easier here and hopefully avoid some of those bigger crazier things that might be looking to kill us, like the big, like, leviathan thing that was over there. I want to avoid that, if at all possible. Um, on the other hand, we can kind of, we can get down here, which we didn't do last time because it was a bit of a cliff with the prawn suit. All right, let's just kind of slowly inch our way along. That was great. Spiders spawning in, exactly what you want. Okay. I don't like those noises. I really don't like those noises. All right, looks like they've got rays up there. Rays should be okay. Huh. <laughs> Stop making noise. All right. <sighs> I don't like it at all. Okay, so mostly what I'm looking for down here is uh, resources. So resources just like that one. I definitely want uh, some more... Some more crystallized sulfur. I think I definitely am on the lookout for, like, nickel, if we can find it. And I definitely want to check out some of these deposits and see if there is nickel to see if we should come back here with the prawn suit. I think that'd be a great idea. Oh, so those guys are trying to get me. Okay. That's, uh, that's good to know. That's fine. Actually, titanium, nickel, yeah, that's what I want. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. Perfect. Um, grab this. Love that. This is actually super handy, being able to do this. So there is nickel down here. I just got to, like, get it. All right, more lithium. Lithium is also very useful. All right, so that's nickel. So we're going to have to find nickel. Hopefully we can find some loose pieces while we're down here, but... Um, yeah, now that we have the drill arm fragment, definitely going to come back and try to get some of that. It looks like some of this might be silver as well, which is great. That's magnetite. Don't super need magnetite. Um, what else do you got? I can't see under the green stuff very well. Alright, but we successfully have avoided the big leviathan thing, which is like issue number one. Oh no. I don't know if I like that. Uh, let's just take a quick gander. Okay, okay, there is a bottom. Okay, we're fine. Um, I just don't like it when there's nothing underneath me. That looks like that might be diamonds. 
Yes, it was. Perfect. Um, I do think we'll need diamonds at some point, so I'm glad I have that. Okay, we can go a little lower here. Um, our crushed up is 900 meters, so we should be okay in this area, but much deeper, and we're going to start having problems. Also, this looks significantly larger than I was hoping it would. Ugh, man. All right, I'm going to grab this diamond, too, so we can make that drill arm. We are going to need four of those. All right, and I know that nickel spawns here now, which is great. I just need to figure out exactly where. Um, is that nickel? Is that nickel? What was that? What is this? I'm going to pick some of it up. That's nickel. Yes, guys, we got nickel. Okay, let's go ahead and put some of these items in the Seamoth. Perfect. Um... Let's just look around a little more, because nickel is definitely what I need. Looks like that's some over there. Just real, real sneaky-like, right up here. I'm going to keep hopping in and out of the sea moth because at least I have a little protection this way. Yeah, those crab guys make angry noises. I also don't like those big skeleton fish. They look mean. Okay, is there anything in the actual water? Not seeing too much. All right, let's scan the walls, because that's where I found the other two pieces. It's shale. Oh, man, only three pieces of nickel. I definitely want more than that eventually, but I do think we have enough nickel to actually um, craft, like, the prawn depth module, which is great, because that only takes three fragments, and that is going to be super useful for getting uh, a little bit more down here. Getting some of those items, like, actually crafted up. Okay. You just... I still have a little bit deeper I can go. I'm getting real close to it, though. Oh, man, this gets huge. Oh, that's... Okay. I don't mind the ray thing. The ray thing looks fine. It's those fishy dudes I don't like. Um... All right, so I'm looking for any more nickel I can find at all. There's just that one giant deposit, so we're definitely going to need that. I also am not seeing anything that looks like uh, it might be new or different, which is a big sad. Oh, this looks... This is crazy. I bet there's all sorts of stuff over here. I'm a little... Yep, there it is. It's loading in. Okay. So that's large and terrifying, and I'm not sure how I feel about all that. Um, thermal vent, giant skeleton, giant, like, waterfall thing, more fishy dudes. Ugh, and I'm almost at crushed up, so I've got to, like, stay uh, generally in this area, but we'll scoot over here. I like walls. Walls are usually pretty far away from bad stuff, except that fishy guy. Go up. No, stay over there. Stay down. All right. Okay. Sweet. So it's pretty... Oh, man, this... This area is definitely making me nervous. It's super cool, but it's super crazy. Oh, that looks like a thing. That looks like a thing, guys. All right, so... <laughs> I think there's definitely more down here. Um... And we might be able to explore more with the Seamoth, but I do think I want to, like, do a little bit more, like, resource stuff first. I mean, we're so close here. I'd feel a little weird if we didn't check it out. Alright, we'll just do it. We'll just do it. We're close to depth, crush depth, but I think we're okay. Oh, okay. We found one of the alien things. Nice. I knew it. I knew there was going to be stuff down here. Alright. Let's see if we can find a way in. I would like to find a way in. Nice, that's what you want. Okay, broken. So, it's broken. Is there a way in that's not going to get me killed? Let's see if there's like a back door. Oh no. I don't like that. I heard it. I heard it. I don't like it. Stay over there, buddy. Those things freak me out. 
I've never been hit by one, and I really don't want to be. Um, how do you get in? Where... Where is the entrance that is not near that angry dude? Oh, no. Stay away from me. Alright, can we go here? Is this it? Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Oh, we can just, like... Detecting an alien uh -oh. broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads, Caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Great. Fluid <laughs> intake. That's exactly what you want. Okay, um... Vital signs oh man, we're hungry too. Beautiful. So we're gonna have to like rush back to the Cyclops when this is all over. But currently we're in an okay area. I think we want to get in there and see what we can grab. Um, Alright, looks like there's an ion cube here. I like that. Okay, let's see how much deeper we can go. Um... I definitely want to check this whole thing out and see if we can, like... Can I scooch through here? I can. Ha! I like being able to take my Seamoth places. Alright, so that's a data thingy. Oh, there's probably lots of stuff to scan. What are you? Tell me what you are. Egg. Beautiful. Sea dragon egg. What is that? Rib cage? Okay, rib cage samples interesting ray specimens yep the ray specimens at least look normal ish what are these amoeboids i don't know if i like them they look a little strange okay so that's it for this area spinefish is that edible come here i'm curious can i eat you well it's cooked Well, it didn't hurt me. Okay. Sweet. I'll take it. Uh, looks like there's stuff down there as well. Let's get this data. Damage report. Integrating new PDA data. Uh, why? What is that? I don't like it. Okay, uh, let's grab some air. Oh, an ion cube. Yep, that's mine. Um, okay, so there's a little bit more down there. Let's grab a little bit of air before we go over there and check out this, uh, check out this data report that we got. Okay, data downloads, alien data, nope, that's not it, terminal data, there we go, damage report. Okay, so a leviathan was at the facility perimeter, closing at high speed. Oh no, okay, so a leviathan brought this down. Great, great, 314 specimens destroyed, one specimen unaccounted for, that's terrifying. Um, Oh, there we go. Okay, so planetary quarantine protocol initiated. So this is when, um, this is when that uh, gun tower basically got activated, which is terrifying. All right, all the rays have given up predation. I love that. Use poisonous flesh to protect themselves. Well, they're not edible, but at least they're not going to kill me. I don't have to fear the reg, uh, the rays. Uh, sea dragon egg. Held in a hermetically sealed environment, chemically sterilized. Oof. Okay. Without the means at the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen, it's possible the aliens sought to study instead the egg laying and incubation practice. To what end is unclear. Does that mean there are actual sea dragons in here? Because I'm not sure I want to meet one of those. Um, deceased ribcage samples. Oh, man. There's just so, all sorts of crazy stuff here. Uh, species out there not yet accounted for that they've become extinct since these samples were collected entirely possible I hope so I would really rather not deal with some of those things I've seen um, and then the ame amoeboids are just whatever they they don't look like they're useful um, okay cleared out those let's go ahead and check this out can I scan this this is terrifying oh this is open oh I don't like it I, I really, I don't, is there anything big and scary in here? I just see spinefish. 
All right, this is horrifying. I don't like it. Uh, uh, there's probably stuff to scan. Dang it. All right, can I scan you? Oh, I don't like it. I don't like being close to a skeleton. Uh, okay. Huh. All right, nothing here. Just gonna make this quick. All right, anything else I should scan? I don't see anything. All right. Uh, do want to go down in that area, though. That looks interesting. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. This is terrifying. What is this? What did they do? Intensive study? They've got, like, chunks of things just sitting here. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Oh, no. Great. Cool. So we have a little more information. This is just not okay. A warper. Okay. Alright. So apparently those warpers are not, like, they're built. That's horrifying. Um... Like, they grew these things specifically to, like, deal with the things that were infected. That's not nice at all. Uh, nor does it make me feel safe in this particular area. Um, dang. Okay, I think we got everything from here. Just, like, super creepy, and I think that's pretty much the end of this area. This is, yeah, everything was just kind of ripped apart here as the structure fell. Just a, a tad bit scary. It's fine. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's, uh, let's scoot out of here if we can. Okay. Uh, that ray's kind of stuck over there, which is fine by me. Although, I probably could scan it, actually. Can I scan you? No, are you actually stuck down there? You're stuck. Cool. Can't see you. You're glitched. Good deal. Um... Okay, so this... I need a tablet. It looks like a purple tablet. Uh, I might have to make one of those because I don't actually have one on me, which seems short-sighted of me now. Iron cube and two diamonds. Uh, well, we have an iron cube and I actually picked up two diamonds, so if we go back to the Cyclops, we can make this and uh, get that. So I may actually do that because that's not too hard and I do... Super want to find out what that last bit of information is. So, I'll bring you guys back in just a second. I'll go make a... Is that... Did it respawn the ion cube? Um, I'll go make a purple tablet, and I will bring you guys back in just a minute here uh, once I've got that ready, and we can get this last bit of information from this facility. All right. So, I'll see you guys in just a minute here. All right, guys. So, we're back. Um... I do now have the purple tablet with me. I also picked up another piece of nickel, which is great. Um, and I was looking at some of the scans that we got. Looks like the warper is a quarantine enforcer unit, uh, so it will try to kill us. Um, yeah, and then there's just all sorts of bad stuff. So we have this Cara contagion profile. So this is the bacteria we're infected with. Uh, looks like we are slowly going to die if we keep doing this. So, uh, gradual immune system failure, green skin lesions, flu-like symptoms, unpredictable alterations to biological structure, and then complete shutdown of executive functions. So, all of the, like, green spotted creatures we've seen are pretty advanced in terms of their infection rates. Let's go ahead and do a self-scan, as was advised. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. All right, so... Oh, no. Oh, great. So that's fun. Um, there we go. Bugged out a little bit for a second. 
Whew, that's not good. Uh, okay, well, there's our bacterial infection report. <laughs> um, nice. It's multiplying in my bloodstream. Estimated incubation time, two weeks. Okay, so we're getting skin irritation. We're getting uh, a little bit of flu. All right, looks like we have to keep going with the alien research data on this stuff. Um, looking for a possible vaccine, and then uh, hopefully... We have to investigate the mechanisms which have enabled indigenous ecosystem to inhibit the signs of the stuff. So it looks like there might be ways to cure it. Um, let's go ahead and put this tablet here so we can download this. Go away. Yay. This is my information now, whatever this is. Integrate new PDA data. Okay, specimen research data. I'm going to assume that was important since I had to spend an ion cube and two diamonds on it. Uh, let's go ahead and look at that real quick as well. Oh, okay. Small herbivore gamma. So the peeper shows no immunity to infection. Death commonly occurs within four days. Shows symptom remission on exposure to enzyme 42, but symptoms quickly reoccur. Um... So there's advanced learning behaviors, so some capacity to tra transmit enzymes to other specimens. Sweet. Okay, so that might at least help us, like, not die. Um, Leviathan embryos? Oh, no. <laughs> cool. So the adult specimen, obviously too big to study in containment. Looks like we're going to need to get some eggs. Um, embryos show no signs of immunity. Death occurs within three weeks. Okay, that's not great. Uh, looks like they've held some eggs for continued high priority research. Large carnivore theta offsite lab established to study remains. Okay, interesting. Potential for immunity to infection, but physical remains so far proved insufficient. Unidentified Leviathan. Sea Emperor. Bone samples from the Sea Emperor specimens indicate potential for Kara immunity. Awesome. So we are going to need to find a Sea Emperor, which is a Leviathan. Which is terrifying. Good stuff. Okay. Oh, there's one captured for study at purpose-built containment facility constructed in volcanic region at 1.4 kilometers. Oh, man, guys. We're going to have to go so much deeper. Okay. Um, all right. It's unlikely the emperor specimen is still contained. Great. I would rather not run into stuff. And it's possible to acquire further data there on Alien's attempt to develop the vaccine. Sweet. So that means that uh, we're going to have to do a little more exploring. We're going to have to go even deeper um, underwater. Okay, so we'll have to figure out exactly where that is. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was somewhere off of this region uh, and just like 800 meters further down, which is great. But we'll definitely have to check it out, guys. But I think that that's actually going to do it for today's episode. We've done a whole lot. I think I can get back to the Cyclops safely um, and do all of that when we get back. I will also create that drill arm fragment and swap out the sea moth for um, the prawn suit again so that we can do a little bit more resource collection when we come down here. All right, guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Let's uh, end it off there. And if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, Please do remember to hit that like button, guys. It really does help me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.